Beautiful women, trophies or liabilities in modern dating? Trophy. Now look, come on. Most men, I'd say every, but obviously it's not every. Most men like a good looking woman. She's beautiful. An attractive woman, a gorgeous woman, a lovely woman, beautiful if you will, woman. For the most part, you can't help it. And there are many variations of beauty before we begin. To some, it's their own perspective of beauty. But let's just base it on high attractiveness. A woman that's highly attractive. It's almost annoying sometimes how a lovely woman can make you disregard a lot of crap just because she's so appealing. Men are Men beauty are diggers. Men are beauty diggers. Really? So let's just call it like we see it. Men are digging for women's beauty. <laughs> now, I'm not saying, you know, I don't want to be a toxic person and on here you know, giving toxic messages. Oh, I think it's too late for that. I think it's too late for that. I'm sure I've seen her TikToks before. She's been toxic before. It's too late for that. Dirty, dirty musty, crusty men. You gotta accept it. You gotta own it. But I think she's probably trying to, you know, turn a new leaf and be more positive. You know, giving to toxic messages. That's good. That's actually good. I'm doing the same. I'm trying to turn a new leaf and be more mature. Bullshit. I'm trying to be realistic. Realistic. Because I do believe in true love. I do believe Aww. in falling in love with someone. I don't go that far, I don't, ain't about no true love. Nope. There's someone you can enjoy a lot and like a lot, want to be around a lot, but true love. Good if it's true, then why are you not with them now? I'm just saying. But let's call it like we see it. You okay. know, we need to be honest. Okay. Men are beauty diggers. Really? And, you know, not all, but a lot of women are gold diggers. So it's, you know, I think it's a healthy balance. You know? A healthy balance of digging from both sides. So women digging the absolute F out of men's resources and men digging the absolute souls and beauty out of women. Is it a fair exchange? You drain the beauty out of a woman as she's draining your pockets? Yeah. <laughs> Toxic messages. It is very modern though, isn't it? It is very modern. But it's not always balanced, is it? It's a case of who wins. That chick could become unattractive all of a sudden. Bruh. She could just give up. That dude could become broke all of a sudden. He could give up. For all the beauty and gold digging either side wants to do, it still requires effort. Ho -ho Toxic messages. No, men dig for the beauty, women dig for the gold. What's wrong with that? Please tell me. But um, yeah, and I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, if you're no longer beautiful, a man won't be with you or blah, blah, blah. That's that's true. That's true. Jeez, look how fat she got. She's going to say it's not true. Yeah, it is true. It sounds cold and shallow. But if as a woman, she's willing to admit that men dig for beauty with her, you know, her terminology, beauty digging. She's beautiful. <laughs> that's interesting. If she's willing to admit that men dig for beauty, why would they keep digging a woman? Who has lost her beauty, has lost her looks, lost her luster. Now she's looking all blurry and just smudged and it's like, ah, woman. Ah! I used to fancy you, but now it's like, I fancy a hotter woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the one for him. And you're not it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's not true. You know, there is men that have, you know, morals and standards and respect and believe in their... And are there women that have morals and standards and respect and, you know, don't want to dig a man just for his gold? Sugar. In this very modern time. Yeah? I'm just saying it goes both ways. Thousand things. But yeah, they definitely are beauty diggers. So I would say to nab one and a really good one, look as beautiful as possible. And there's so many things we can do now anyway to look as beautiful as possible. This is drugs. The wrong man can completely derail your entire life. Hmm. Completely derail it. Like okay. you could be the most confident, beautiful, um, you know, physically, uh, spiritually, energetically, beautiful, just like vibrant woman. Okay, let's be honest. If a man sees you, he's not seeing your spiritual vibrancy. He doesn't, he doesn't want to stick his knob in your spirit. In your spiritual vibrancy, come on. <laughs> uh, spiritually, ener ener energetically. I don't give a fuck. But your physical, yes. Physical, yes. Lovely woman. Talking about loser men and how she got caught up with a loser man and how he tried to use her up basically because of her, you know, loveliness and beauty and ener ener energetically and whatnot and so on and so forth. Trophies or liabilities. Again, what man doesn't love a good looking woman? However, to add to what the first lady said, how many men men date based on their current finances I'm broke. <laughs> yeah because a lot of women complain on tiktok and the internet saying ah oh, they seem to fix men up for the next woman when he gets on he leaves me for a better chick Big heart, fat, poom poom. Yeah, when he gets on, he leaves her ass for a better girl. Just a better chick. Suck it. Younger, hotter, sexier. 
smarter, all of the above. Who knows? Who knows? But my overall point to the waffle is, a lot of men date based on what they can get. If a man can get a good looking woman regardless of his finances, he's gonna get that woman. Gotcha. Whether he's got the money to afford her a lifestyle or he's got no money and she pays for his lifestyle. It doesn't matter. Broke or rich men, men in general like a good looking woman. We can't help it. It's just a good looking woman's a good looking woman. I can talk crap all day long, but yeah, a good looking woman. Oh my God. Damn, man's a bit lost for a second, but then I'm back on my square. But yo, yo, the point is, good looking women are the weakness to a lot of men, to probably most men. They're a liability because of what some men would do in dating good looking women or a very good looking woman. This is why some women say, don't be his first baddie. <laughs> no, it's, it's too much. Because they'll go crazy. Yeah, and some men do. Some men do, they become stalkerish and whatever. So we understand beautiful women can be trophies to men because you can show her off to other people, other men and other women. Are you bastard? Are you jealous of my women? I'll look at you ugly bitches. This is my fine woman. You wish you looked this good. Woo! And you could be like, yeah, don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like mine? Yeah, see you over there with that troll of a woman. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> seriously, that's wrong. The point is, jealousy, envy, and hate comes with dating a very lovely woman. A lot of men know he already dated a good-looking woman. Sometimes it's just dating a decent, regular woman. I mean, she's okay, but some men and women will hate when they see some people together, especially if one or both of them looks good. Oh, the hate. And that's part of the liability. The hate, jealousy, and envy that comes with dating someone very attractive. And many things come with dating a very good looking woman other men trying to take your woman for one other men trying to take your woman <sighs> for fuck's sake. Other women trying to give you draws as a man because they see your girlfriend, they think they're better and prettier than her, yeah. they want to prove it to themselves and the world. Therefore, women that don't even like you or want you would throw themselves on you because of your pretty girlfriend. Yeah? Trophies or liabilities. There are some men out there who have dated very attractive women, but in present modern day and time, they'd rather just be like, you know what? I'd rather be single or just date an average chick because what comes with dating certain women in certain places, it's just not worth it sometimes. And then make the choice for herself that she decides to be and commit with or even put herself in the presence of a man who is a loser, right? And someone who is not going to level up her life and then it completely derails her. This has happened to me. I've seen this happen to many, 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 many people. Most people that I know this has actually happened to and it's cost them years. It's cost them years, it's cost them a lot of money it's cost them their time, their energy. You know how I talk about the feminine energy where it's more valuable than money. Interesting, because that's a point that some women don't seem to acknowledge. A lot of them do acknowledge it. They like to roast men saying, why are men complaining about gold diggers when they don't have any money? But it's like, women don't seem to understand there are many men out there that will waste a woman's time regardless of how much money he's got. Yeah, he's got a lot of money. He's fully aware he's going to waste years of your life. He knows. He knows. But it's like, women seem to miss the point that a lot of men are fully aware. This money means nothing. I'm going to get this money back tomorrow, today. This second I give it to you, I'm going to make it back. The money doesn't matter to me, woman. Your time is more valuable. I have things to do. Please. It's very easy for women to sell themselves out for money. Sparkle, sparkle. For money. They'll never get back time. You can make money back. <laughs> Time, please. Like your time and energy as a feminine woman is so much more valuable than time or money. So when something's costing you your feminine energy, it- I don't think it's good if a lot of women know that though. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just keep giving it up. Better be freaking worth it. <laughs> it better be worth it. Otherwise, like stop. Stop giving that source your feminine energy. The worst thing you can do as a woman is not be nonchalant. And this comes as an ex-lover girl that used to be like, I'm not going to hold anything back. I'm going to go full force for it. When I was 21, I met this guy in Miami. Within two weeks, I was like, listen, I'm going to fly to LA. I can't let this go. In a month, I was kind of like, what are we? I invested all this time into you. I want to know where this is going. It was going nowhere. It was going nowhere. I don't trust anyone. It was going nowhere. Lovely woman. Look, let's be honest. As men, sometimes we don't think. Sometimes we're not thinking with our main brain. We're just like, oh, yo, damn. God damn. Sometimes we're thinking with our other brain, so it's like, damn, hey, hey, let's have some fun. You're not thinking about the long run, but yeah, that's where a lot of men fail and a lot of men fall off. They're too busy digging the beauty, gripping, gripping beauty, and not focused on other things.
again, beautiful women, trophies or liabilities. You could spend a long time chasing women or a long time focused on building your own life as a man and still chase you know, and still have your fun with women. No one said you didn't have to. So women, the worst thing we have is this idea of scarcity mindset, whereas men have this idea of plentitude. Men do yeah. not think that you are going to be like the last good woman they're ever going to meet. And no, they can go to the club, they can pick up some girl and she's probably going to start folding his laundry and feeding him within a week. She's <laughs> To a degree, yes, it doesn't mean she's going to be a great woman or even like her. She's going to do stuff for you. Okay. Okay. Like you went from Miami to LA. Okay. Okay. So you understood you were gullible to a man. You understand there are other gullible women out there. Yeah. But again, as a man, you can chase as many gullible women as you want to. If you're not focused on real things in life, women become a liability to your life. Yeah. You need foundation if you want better trophies. It literally all comes down to the chase. No one wants to hear it and nobody wants to play games, but that's kind of what it is. What about the guy that's like way too much on you? It's very off-putting. It's like, dude, what's wrong with you? When you over-invest into men and you prioritize them, you give them all of the power. Being nonchalant puts you at an advantage. Personally, with dating moving forward, I know that if I want to actually get to know someone and not romanticize this idea of them and fall in love with their potential, I have to date several people at one time because then that way i literally cannot physically prioritize you okay you're spreading yourself thin but okay beautiful women have been the biggest liability to men throughout history no matter how good the woman looks you never give her everything just another beautiful woman have a nice day Toxic messages.